Hey, welcome, welcome back to Ant Legion. I am Server Ninja, and we're going to look at the legacy, um, the legacies, and the boosts that they give. Okay. So what we're going to look at is do these boosts are they affected all the time, or just when uh, you put them in a rally? Now this one seems pretty obvious. Uh, Rally Army's defense is increased by 150%. Rally Army's attack is increased by 150%. So that, that only applies when you're in a rally. Now this is a civil ant. So And then the other one's Legion stats, 9%. Now if we were to go to uh, Army defense, uh, so we'll just stick with the Army attack to make it simple. So Army attack, 40%. I'm just gonna. I already have a bunch of these unequipped, ranged. I'm just gonna take some of those out. So let's go take a look here. What you can do is you can go into your boost here, and you can see I currently have an army attack of 483 percent, and then I have a haste. Let's see, a ranged attack of 753. Now I'm not currently, obviously not currently in a rally. So let's put some of these back on here. Jumper, try to keep your exclusive ones exclusive. Because you that's the only way to get those extra boosts. And... And that's it. So they, they'll all have legacies. And we're going to go back and take a look. Whoops, wrong one. And you can see my army attack has gone up significantly. My range has gone up significantly. So anywhere where it doesn't say rally boost, then it boosts all the time. Which is great for events and things like that. But also what that means... is when you are upgrading your legacies, I guess it'd be better to go here. As far as the basic boost, this one here, army attack, defense, and HP, which you get all the time, that's all the upgrade effects. The upgrade only affects that, so you can see, right? So I've got this up to level six, but really I should, you wanna boost these all evenly. Like, here's level four. I'm going to boost that one up next. Why? Because it's cheaper, right? It requires less experience to upgrade the level four than it does to level six. And since the basic boost that the upgrade gives you is effective 100% of the time, then you want to... And then here's this one, just doubles it. No more so. You want it's better to upgrade the lowest legacy you have. And remember, you can do a legacy transfer. I don't have any available right now, but you can transfer um, a level four to a level one and make that level one. I mean, basically transfer their levels. So when you get a new legacy, you're not losing those levels. Um, it's better to just evenly upgrade everything. So I waste, kind of wasted the experience uh, two levels on here, and I could have an extra 2 or 3% boost right now um, down here further. So I hope I explained that properly. So don't worry about upgrading one or two as high as you can. Just upgrade evenly across the board because you will have a better overall boost to your, to your stats, which, of course, helps you in the arena, helps you in battles, helps you in everything. So, um, But that is it. That's all I can think of at the moment. Of course, we always know that I come up with more stuff in my ramblings. But I think that is it for now. So if you think I missed anything, um, or if you don't feel I explained it properly, free, feel free to let me know in the comments. 
Um, I do try to answer um, all of those or all of those that uh, need to be answered. Other than that, um, have a great day and remember to keep it fun. We'll see you next time.